What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Destiny. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the family. This week's video is a DIY goddess inspired braid tutorial. And this is my first braiding tutorial that I'm ever putting out on YouTube. So bear with me and I hope that all of the info that I give you in this video can help you do this yourself. I did have some help from a family friend to just Help me get my braids done a little bit quicker because I did do these for my vacation that I just went on in Jamaica. So these lasted me literally over four weeks and they're safe to wash your hair in and you do not have to worry about them being too heavy because they're super lightweight. So if you want to learn how to do these braids yourself at home, just keep on watching this video. And without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So let's start out with the type of hair that I'm using. I'm going to be using the K Professional Pre-Stretched Braiding Hair. Excuse my cat, he's so annoying, but I love him, whatever. Um, anyway, I don't use a specific brand like all the time. I just happened to find this one in the beauty supply store when I went to do these braids and they just ended up working out. I also got some blonde hair. This one's only 24 inches, but honestly, you can get any length that you want. And if you want to make it longer, just add more hair as you braid down so it's not that much of a problem and I also got like about three packs of each I didn't use all of the hair but I usually get more than I need so that I don't have to worry about possibly needing to go to the beauty supply store with half of my head braided you know what I mean you're also gonna need some perm rods I find this to be the easiest way to get the most perfect curls and they just end up falling so nicely once the hair kind of just like relaxes this is completely optional but you can also add gold accents and pieces of jewelry like seashells and then I'm also going to be putting in some leave-in conditioner I'm using the leave-in from Miss Jessie's I'm also going to be using the Mary Superior hair pomade and then the Carol's Daughters Mimosa hair honey shine pomade a lot of pomades, I wanted to make sure that my hair was nice and soft and held that form well for the braid. So lastly, you're going to want some hair clips just to get the hair out of the way, a rat tail comb or some way to part your hair, and also a brush just in case. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. Work it, girl. Work. <laughs> And before you start anything, you want to make sure you're starting on freshly washed and detangled hair. Here's my natural hair. I have so much hair, so it takes me literally hours to have a style like this done on my head. But honestly, it's truly worth it. We also have my fiance Walter helping today. He's going to be parting my hair. And to start out, all you want to do is part your hair straight down the middle and leave those two sections up and away so that they don't get in the way. And then just start making rows going up from the bottom of your neck up to the crown of your head. Pro tip, if you have thick hair like me, make sure that you're putting the pomade directly on the scalp to help make sure that you're getting those lines nice and clean when you're separating the hair. I don't know if you can tell um, that Walter's doing it in this video because the time lapse is pretty fast, but he is putting that pomade on my scalp just to help make sure that those lines are nice and crisp. And the easiest way we found to part my hair for braiding was to follow a diagram. So I'm going to put a diagram here on the screen to help people that also might have trouble with figuring out how big to make the boxes on their head. Since I have the two sides up and out of the way, he's using that bottom section and is making that section into two rows and from those two rows we're going to start making our boxes so like the diagram had on the bottom there was three boxes on the base of the neck and that's what we're going to be doing putting three boxes on the base of the neck and then just working our way up and make sure that you are also kind of twirling the hair and pinning it out of the way like he did on this top row here while he works on the bottom just to make sure that everything is clean and that you are keeping track of where you're going. And just to make sure that the hair stays in place, I am double strand twisting the hair once he puts it into the box. Just so that no hair gets out of where it's supposed to be. And we're just going to continue that all the way up to the crown of the head. 
going up in rows and then making those rows into boxes. Just make sure that your braids are falling in between the gaps and not right on top of each other. As you can see on the diagram here, the boxes do not lay flat right on top of each other like in a line. They're asymmetrical so the braid ends up falling right between the two braids that are below it so you want to make sure that you're following that pattern so that the braids lay as flat as possible which means they'll look as natural as possible i have also been adding leave-in conditioner into my hair as we're going along so i'm not working on incredibly dry hair i know it looks dry but i have been putting product in it and here is it done all of the boxes with the two strand twists. I know it looks so crazy. We had a long night this night. It was like one night before we had to pack, so we were delusional. Honestly, for the top of the head, you can part it any way that you want to. I just ended up following the straight line that we made in the middle of my head because I usually part my hair in the middle anyways. So that's what we went with. And then the next day I woke up and just started parting my hair. So since the hair that I bought was already pre-stretched, all I had to do was section it off into smaller sections so that I can add it on to my natural hair. So I'm just doing that here, both with the red and the blonde hair. Okay, so now for the actual braiding. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up here of me doing my last braid to show you how we put in the hair to my natural hair. So all I did was take three strands like I would do for a regular braid and all I did was add that fake piece of hair, very thin, to the middle strand on top of my root. So I start from the base of my head and then I just braid as if that piece of hair is connected to my hair, leaving that little tail on top of my head braiding down as usual and as I finish that first braid loop I'm gonna bring that tail down into the rest of the braid so now I'm gonna be able to hide all that fake hair and braid it as as if it's my natural hair I hope that that made sense this is one way to do it I'm gonna show you guys a second method as well if you're not comfortable with starting from the root honestly the hardest part is just starting the braid once you have that hair in there braiding down is a piece of cake. You just need to make sure that you're getting that fake piece of hair into your natural hair and really making sure that it's tight onto your scalp. You don't want any type of loose hair because then that style is not going to last as long and you've been sitting on the chair for hours for literally nothing. So make sure that when you're starting from the root like I am in this video, make sure that it's pretty tight, not too tight to where it hurts your head, but tight enough to where it feels secure. The second method is also another way of adding in hair. You have your three strands to make your braid and you're gonna add the fake hair onto both the outside strand and the middle strand. So just laying it right in the middle of those two and braiding it down as if it's part of those two strands. So it might get a little bit messier using this method because you notice a little bit more bumps in the braid but honestly it looks super natural and no one's gonna notice those microscopic little imperfections so if you find this way to be easier by all means use this way okay so now to place it in you try to hold it in the middle you pick up one strand and hold it tight to it and then you part, make it two more parts and then you just take it around and you braid it as if it was your regular hair you were braiding down. You put a little bit of gel on your hand to keep it from sticking and you just take it all the way down. I found somebody I 
today's video i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel it definitely helps me out to continue to make content for you guys while you're at it make sure that you hit that little notification bell so that you're notified every single time i post a new video and until next time bye guys